Okay, guys. This is a wood I made of wood. The guy, other guy, made of pins around in on the Facebook the, or YouTube. Other guy used capacitors around to make a three different lines of wires makes hexagon it means it makes vortex in one direction if you use send the signals in different manner or impulses in different let's say if this wires goes like that it's a first impulse let's say 5 hertz that one is gonna be 8 uh, this one 8 and that one 13 it means each of them are faster than the first one right and uh, each of them gonna turn the the uh, before one let's say here is uh, the slowest impulse is the little faster and he's the fastest it's mean the second one gonna turn first one to the right and third one gonna uh, turn second one to the right and all and so on but wiring is gonna go like that let's say first first wiring is gonna go like that zigzag okay and when it goes up 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 here and coming back down it means in this direction makes magnetic field like that okay from other direction makes feel a magnetic field like that okay but a uh, second wiring is gonna be like that and here let's stuck in this way it's gonna make a, uh, a magnetic field like that first one is like that second one like that third one like that okay and then again first one like that and this one like that and in the middle it's gonna be rotation to the right if you send the signals opposite side you're gonna get vortex in left if you send a single signal in this manner which i'm gonna try to the right and when you wire up all the wires and you send signal different you supposed to be these all wires are connect i mean each wire crossing wire is color wave wire you produce these color waves by heating magnetic field of each wire each current magnetic field heating other magnetic field which is not in straight line is gonna produce scalar wave <coughs> and that's what i'm trying to do but it's gotta be super size to to get this hexagon correct like you see what i did i just uh, glued everything around the, the circuit board okay and now i'm gonna wire up it's whatever i start i just gonna zigzag and second a second is gonna go zigzag like that and third gonna go zigzag like that i hope you enjoyed that and <clears throat> i'm gonna give you an update once i put uh, the wires and i'm gonna show you how it looks like and then we're gonna try play with the circuit boards <clears throat> and signals to try to get some effect from it that's it for now See you next time.